Hello, this is Tom Kosowski, one of the neurosurgeons at Texas Back Institute. And today we're talking about Chiari malformations in light of it being uh, National Chiari Malformation Awareness Month. Chiari malformation is when the cerebellum uh, has downward displacement past the what's called the foramen magnum, which is the bottom hole of the skull. Um, and that's basically the area where the brainstem transitions into the spinal cord. By definition, it's, it's typically five centimeters or more of this displacement of that cerebellum tissue past that hole. And the most common symptom will be headaches in the back of your head primarily. Um, and oftentimes these headaches can get worsened when you're straining. So if you're coughing hard, uh, if you're lifting something heavy, etc. Um, but you know, since there's a lot of nervous tissue going through that area, people can have all sorts of symptoms. You know, from weird sensations in the arms and legs, um, sensory problems, sometimes uh, weakness as well. They can have swallowing difficulties. So there's a lot of different neurological symptoms that one can have, but the most common symptoms are the headaches. I mean, I, I would have a low threshold to at least have it worked up. I mean, if it's something that's really bothering your, your quality of life, then I would see a, a specialist, at least get some imaging, understand what's the condition, what's going on, how much compression is there in that area, and, and then you can formula formulate a plan with the with the doctor in terms of is this something that we can try conservative measures to start off with or is this something that needs surgery. Diagnosis is, is clinical along with an MRI and the MRI is going to be looking for how much of that cerebellar tissue is, is displaced beyond that frame of magnum. So if you're experiencing any of these symptoms or if you're concerned about this, uh, we encourage you to uh, call us and we'd be happy to evaluate you.